Mr. Phoenix Wright, <laughs> do you have any proof that something slipped past this is vigilant ventriloquist? Psh, psh. Objection! Point! Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying! He's blinded by his rivalry with Max! Which is back and forth at this point. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you! I wouldn't lie just to get that dog face in trouble. He's not even worth it. He's like a gamagool. I saw him. No <laughs> doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's let's shout exactly who you saw on that night. Ah. I told you so many times you think you know my story's not changing. You've already changed your story, <laughs> stick boy, and I'm sure you can <laughs> change some more. Where there is one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Honestly, the amount of name calling in this turnabout is like doing it for me. <laughs> Everyone is so sassy. <laughs> so are you sassy. feeling it now, Mr. Mr. Krabs? After all, feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I am feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah! Alrighty. Here we go again. Doo -doo -doo. Witness maxing. Witness maxing. Oh, this is new. Yeah. I'll give you that. I was waiting that night for Regina. Okay, sue me. But that doesn't <laughs> change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence like I'm some sort of puppet. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. I love how shocked he looks here. <laughs> In the, in the thing. Ben, you see that he's just ignoring me. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. So that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max? That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Hmm, then money snatched the ring, and then you went chasing after him? How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I suppose he punched me five times, so five minutes, I think, is what he's going for. <laughs> so the victim could have arrived on this scene in that five-minute stretch? Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. This is giving me... <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me such turnabout samurai vibes, though. It really is. I don't really care. I'll press that. Hold it! So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night? Let's just say I already knew Max was coming out a long time ago. I mean, look at the way he dresses. <laughs> but of course, that's where I saw him coming from. <laughs> I was staying at the entrance of the tent the entire time. Uh, I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. Okay. Hold it. About what time would you say these events took place? You are the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out for yourself. The monkey stole my watch. <laughs> you already know the practice promptly finished at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 minutes. I'm sure you could do that. Now, what time was it? Well, if it's 10.10 and the dude died at 10.15 and you chased the monkey for five minutes, you weren't there for the murder at all. No. <laughs> Indeed. What time was it? <laughs> Judge, please. Hmm. Uh, what time was it? Let me think about that for uh, a second. No, I'm not good with math. Uh, it was 10, 10 p.m. I didn't go to math school. <laughs> I went to lawyer school. Listen, I failed to count uh, one plus six today. Yeah. So in reality, uh, I also don't know anything else besides lawyering and fine dining. You are the man. <laughs> <laughs> and breathing. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. It sounds about right because that's the time I saw Max on the scene. I said good evening and he acknowledged me. Pressing that. So you testify that you said good evening to Max then? That night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious <laughs> questions. I do, I do. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I say good night to someone at night. At night. At, at night. night. What, Ben? You got something you want to add? Want to add a SpongeBob rabbit? Eh, Ben? Eh? Let me guess. Nose for a tooth? That's not it, Trillo. You'd say good night and eat. Uh, you said good evening at night, eh? <laughs> this is this is Dylan's spirit animal. This puppet. Uh, I'm sorry, Trillo. Mr. Quist, <laughs> I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. 
Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performances! You should know better! Uh, there, there's got to be something wrong with this bit of testimony! Uh, I think it's Trillo's evening greeting. It's not Ben's half of the comedy act. And there's definitely something going on if they're giving me a thing, so... Yeah, Boop. It, it's not nothing especially. I'd say it would nothing especially. <laughs> it isn't you that... don't know what's in his head! <laughs> Wood. Isn't that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Because he struck you over the head with a bottle in the cafeteria earlier. Well, if it was simply being just cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ow, that hurt. Apparently you don't. Maybe you should think of having some proof before you start flapping next time. Proof is everything in the world. You should have learned that back in grade school. Yes, I do like pudding, but there's no reason that Trillo would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with the evidence? It's the bottle. It's the broken bottle. Bluffing yeah. is everything in this world, but I'm sure you already learned that one. Uh, I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. I want to present the bottle on the he said goodnight, good evening. That was a whole thing. He lied. But I want to I want to do that. Any objections from the peanut gallery? Objection! Point! Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement, at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end up with someone getting clonked over the head with a eh, bonk. Mine do. Mine do. <laughs> that morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? W what? Is that an omission of assault and battery? We're not being tried for this here. Ouch! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. Uh, the truth is, is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight, which we're not testing here. But there is absolutely no way that they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Point. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. He's an asshole. And there's no way this puppet, this lewd puppet, would just stand up and say good evening to his rival. Wah! Objection! Are you saying this witness is lying? I ain't calling him a truther! But th that, that would be perjury! <laughs> that would be perjury! He would uh, th th he can't do that! That would be a crime! But he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I, I, I didn't tell a single lie! Honestly, I just told multiple, it's different! <laughs> That's quite enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He saw someone else. Yeah, different person. He saw someone Has else. to be. It is my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? I'll answer my own question. A crackpot theory. It's a correct one, though. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. V what? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there's only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That's why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Uh... What in the world? You... Would the defense kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening, then? That's my vote. The ringmaster. That's... yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense, I think. He didn't see Max. Not, he can't see himself. Max. He didn't can't see, see Regina. He went with Mo already. Mo. So it's Russell. <laughs> Present. Take that. Tap. Considering the ill temper of this witness, there's only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> No. Is what a psycho would say. No, Your Honor, it, it's not Regina. <laughs> uh, and if it was Regina, that would be a psycho, but Tr Trillo also would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I suppose you've got a point there. <sighs> yeah. It was Russell Berry. The victim himself, was it not? Yes, you are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. Point! The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why you greeted him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Damp! <laughs> Answer the Impressive question, Mr. Kissed Quist. Quist. Ah. Anna, Anna. How do you respond to this? Whoa, 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 wait a second, okay? Well, at first I thought I it was the old man. 
at mm. first. But, but, once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. No. No. Just, just no. I think it is high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Chris obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the Ringmaster? One of Mr. R R R R R what? One Mr. Russell Berry. Try saying that ten times fast. Russell Berry, Russell Berry, Russell Berry. The prosecution well argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? All right, this is getting Oh, Come on, man. You gotta remember them by now. Here we go. All right, everyone, all together now. Go on and chat. <laughs> ah! Yes, yes, we know. The silk cat, the cloak, <laughs> and the white roses. Thank you, chat. Objection! A silk cat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. What was that? Uh, well, the witness has endlessly, endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know that it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Tap! Point! Possibly even Russell Berry! What? Miss Von Karma. But why would you, why would you dress up as someone else? <laughs> Can't imagine, it's not like we haven't had a case like this in the past, Twice. but do you have clear evidence that this the person the witness saw was circus. the defendant? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I'd say we're doing it right then. Also, it's it's not illegal to just dress up as most people. Cosplay! <laughs> the ringmaster was cosplaying Maximilian Galactic. <laughs> If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point in this one. That is very unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix, right? Uh, what do you mean by that? You've merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Uh -huh. Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, which I must say is not the burden of proof, but, um... <laughs> an answer to that question, and evidence that clearly establishes one thing... Remember, va the Von Karmas are perfection. They're just going above and beyond. That there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Ooh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't like that. Very well. The court will take a ten-minute recess. Enjoy the jungle gym, Your Honor. <laughs> I very much will. But during that time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. You're not allowed on the jungle gym. You have work to do. <laughs> We're now in recess. <laughs> I think court is now in recess, but the lawyers aren't. Ah, beautiful. Perfect place. Huh. Dun, 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 what a trip. Dun, dun, dun. Please Listen, save. I'm saving. I like Trillo. He's funny. He is funny. He, he really fits Trillo is you, Dylan, doesn't he? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Ace Attorney. We play live once a week on Twitch and YouTube. And yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Line! <laughs> Line! <laughs>